morning, my RD family. I am Sumaira Bajaj of Class 3D, and today my TEDx RD topic is self-expression. Be yourself and let your creativity shine. Today, I want to talk about something super cool called self-expression. It's all about showing who you are and what you like doing in your own special way. Each one of us are unique and that's awesome, isn't it friends? Self-expression helps you to share your thoughts, feelings, ideas, views and that makes you feel very happy from inside. There are many ways to express yourself. Some people like to draw with crayons, sing, play musical instruments and even dance as if nobody is watching, right? It is very, very, very important to be proud of who you are. Don't worry about what others think because when you express yourself, you are inspiring others to do the same. So why worry about what others think? There is no right or wrong way to express yourself. Friends, you know what I do when I get excited? I start running from one corner to the other. You want to see? Let me show you. I know that looks funny. I know you all will be laughing at me, but that's me. Come on, raise your hand whoever runs and jumps when they get excited. Good, I'm not the only one. I know we might feel a little shy when we express ourselves, but that's okay. Take your time, go slow and remember friends, there's no rush in life. Share with your close family and friends first. I'm also a shy girl, but you see friends, I'm presenting in front of you all on stage today. Isn't that cool? Did you know friends, even the most famous writers and artists started small, they practiced and struggled a lot before they became great. Example, our very favorite author of Harry Potter. Can you guess who she is? Any guesses? Yes, J.K. Rowling, our very favorite author of Harry Potter, faced many difficulties before publishing her first book. Friends, did you know she went to cafes while taking care of her little daughter? I know, right? Now if you see her, her books will be selling in millions and have inspired countless readers. You can do that, <coughs> excuse me, in big or small ways like um, choosing your favorite clothes or even telling someone about your favorite hobbies. Mm. Yes, let me tell you a joke which just came into my mind. When my mother was young, maybe younger than us, she had a very strict math mentor called Miss Patsy and my mother was very scared of her. One day, my mother asked Miss Patsy, Miss Patsy, would you scold me for something I have not done? Miss Patsy replied, Neha, why will I scold you for something you have not done? My mother said, Miss Patsy, I didn't do my homework. <laughs> Miss Patsy couldn't help but laugh. Instead, hugged and kissed my mother. We shouldn't do this with our mentors, but you see, my mother expressed herself in a way of a little joke. Isn't that cool? So the moral of the story is, friends, to be yourself and let your creativity shine. Thank you for listening. You all are amazing.